Breaking news. The FAA has just released their first critical findings on Starship Flight 7's Explosive N, and it could mean major delays for Flight 8. On January 16th, fragments of SpaceX's most ambitious rocket rained down near populated islands, triggering immediate FAA intervention and a full investigation. With SpaceX targeting a late February launch for Flight 8, these new revelations could reshape their entire testing program. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you inside the FAA's groundbreaking announcement, analyzing what it means for Starship's future, and revealing how this could impact SpaceX's aggressive testing schedule. From debris scattered across Paradise Islands to unprecedented safety concerns, this story has implications that reach far beyond just another rocket test. Let's dive right in. The morning of January 16th started like any other day in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Tourists lounged on pristine beaches, locals went about their business, and the Caribbean sky stretched endlessly blue above them. Nobody expected their paradise to become ground zero for one of SpaceX's in his most dramatic moments. The calm before the storm was about to be shattered by an event that would reshape the future of commercial spaceflight. Eight minutes into Starship's seventh test flight, something went catastrophically wrong. The world's largest rocket, carrying humanity's dreams of Mars colonization, began breaking apart miles above the Atlantic. The aftermath would trigger a chain of events that would force us to question everything we thought we knew about the commercial space industry's safety protocols and regulatory oversight. Alina Zeta, a Florida resident vacationing in Turks and Caicos, was among the first to witness the unprecedented spectacle. It was like a meteor shower in broad daylight, she recalls, her voice still trembling at the memory. Pieces of burning metal streaking across the sky. It makes you question everything about rocket safety. We were supposed to be on vacation, but suddenly we were in the middle of what felt like a disaster movie. The reality of the situation quickly became apparent as debris began washing up on every beach of Providenciales. From South Caicos to West Caicos, fragments of SpaceX's dream littered the coastline. Local environmental groups sprang into action, documenting each piece of debris with growing concern. The Turks and Caicos Relief Fund, partnering with the Department of Environment and Coastal Resources, discovered an alarming truth. This wasn't just another failed test. It was the first time a commercial space company's debris had threatened populated areas on this scale. We found pieces everywhere, explains Ali Zimmerman, executive director of the Turks and Caicos Relief Fund. Some fragments are tiny, others are disturbingly large. Each piece represents not just a failed mission, but a potential threat to our community and our environment. The environmental impact assessment teams work tirelessly, documenting every fragment every impact site, building a comprehensive picture of an incident unprecedented in commercial spaceflight history. The Federal Aviation Administration's response was immediate and unprecedented. For the first time in commercial spaceflight history, they activated a debris response area, effectively locking down airspace near the Turks and Caicos. The ripple effects were felt immediately throughout the Caribbean aviation network. Commercial flights diverted, causing a cascade of travel delays that affected thousands of passengers. But this was just the beginning of a regulatory storm that would engulf SpaceX. In an unprecedented move, the FAA grounded all future Starship flights, pending a thorough investigation. This wasn't just about a failed test anymore. It was about fundamental questions of public safety and the very future of commercial spaceflight itself. The agency's decision sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry, forcing everyone to confront uncomfortable questions about the balance between innovation and safety. The FAA's initial findings released recently paint a complex and troubling picture of the incident. Among the most startling revelations, a vehicle in South Caicos sustained damage from falling debris. The first confirmed case of property damage from a commercial rocket failure under FAA oversight this single incident, though seemingly minor, has opened a Pandora's box of liability questions that could reshape the entire commercial space industry. SpaceX maintains $500 million in liability insurance for each Starship launch, but what happens if claims exceed this amount? Under federal law, the U.S. government would step in to cover additional damages, a scenario that has never been tested in the commercial space era. 
Legal experts are now scrambling to understand the implications of this precedent-setting event. This incident has exposed a fundamental tension at the heart of modern spaceflight, SpaceX's rapid iterative development philosophy versus traditional aerospace's more cautious approach. While NASA and other competitors spend years in ground testing, methodically working through every possible failure mode, SpaceX pushes boundaries with live tests, accepting the risk of spectacular failures as the price of progress. This approach has led to remarkable advances in rocket technology, with SpaceX achieving milestones that seemed impossible just a few years ago. But when those failures rain debris on Paradise Islands, serious questions arise. Is this approach sustainable? More importantly, is it safe? The debate has split the aerospace community with passionate advocates on both sides. Adding another layer of complexity to this situation is the recent shakeup at the FAA itself. The appointment of Chris Roslow as acting administrator by President Trump marks a potential turning point in the agency's relationship with SpaceX. This comes after a tumultuous period marked by increasingly public clashes between Elon Musk and former administrator Mike Whitaker. The tension reached a boiling point last year when the FAA proposed $633,000 in fines against SPA CEX for multiple violations. These included using an unapproved launch control room and rocket propellant farm, infractions that the FAA viewed as serious safety violations. Musk's response was characteristically defiant, threatening legal action against what he called FAA overreach and arguing that the agency's bureaucracy was stifling innovation. The conflict escalated further when SpaceX posted public letters to Congress, claiming the FARA lacked the resources and expertise to properly oversee the rapidly evolving commercial space industry. This very public dispute has raised questions about the appropriate balance between regulatory oversight and commercial freedom in the space sector. Despite these challenges, SpaceX's technical team continues to push forward their FCC filing indicates a target launch date of February 24th for Flight 8, but the path to launch is more complex than ever. Before Starship can fly again, several crucial milestones must be met. The installation and testing of 39 Raptor engines, each a marvel of engineering pushing the boundaries of rocket propulsion technology. These engines must work in perfect harmony, a symphony of controlled explosions generating millions of pounds of thrust. The booster and spacecraft require thorough testing with every system checked and rechecked. The integration of the complete 123-meter vehicle presents its own set of challenges. Each connection point a potential failure mode that must be eliminated. Most critically, SpaceX must satisfy the FAA's new safety requirements and secure a new launch license. This process, already complex, has been made more challenging by the heightened scrutiny following Flight 7's failure. The implications of this incident extend far beyond SpaceX and the FAA. The global space industry is watching closely, knowing that the outcome of this investigation could set precedents that affect everyone involved in commercial spaceflight. Foreign space agencies and companies are particularly interested in how the United States balances innovation with safety regulations. The incident has also sparked international discussions about space debris and launch safety. The Turks and Caicos incident has become a case study in the need for international agreements governing commercial space activities, particularly when it comes to launch paths over populated areas. Behind the technical specifications and regulatory battles, there's a profound human story unfolding. Local communities in the flight path are grappling with their new role as unwitting participants in humanity's push to the stars. Tourism operators worry about the impact on their businesses. Environmental groups are concerned about the long-term effects on marine ecosystems. Yet there's also a sense of pride among some locals at being part of this historic moment in space exploration. Yes, it was scary, admits one Turks and Caicos resident, but we're also witnessing history. These are the growing pains of becoming a spacefaring civilization. As SpaceX works to satisfy the FAA's requirements, time is becoming an increasingly critical factor. The company's ambitious plans for Starship, including NASA contracts for lunar missions and Musk's dreams of Mars colonization, all depend on maintaining a rapid development schedule. Every day of delay pushes these goals further into the future. Yet rushing could prove catastrophic. 
The FAA's investigation has made it clear that future failures must not put populated areas at risk. SpaceX must find a way to maintain its rapid development pace while ensuring absolute safety, a challenge that many consider impossible. As we await Flight 8, the stakes have never been higher. This next launch isn't just another test. It's a crucial moment that will define the relationship between commercial space companies and regulatory authorities. The outcome could either validate SpaceX's rapid development approach or force a fundamental rethinking of how we test and develop spacecraft. For SpaceX, the Starship program represents more than just reaching Mars. It's about proving that private companies can safely push the boundaries of human achievement while protecting the communities beneath their flight paths. The debris that fell on Turks and Caicos might have been just metal and carbon fiber, but it carried with it fundamental questions about our journey to the stars. The answers to these questions will shape not just the future of SpaceX, but the entire commercial space industry. As we watch these events unfold, one thing becomes increasingly clear. We are witnessing a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration where the dreams of Mars collide with the realities of Earth and where the future of commercial spaceflight hangs in the balance. The eyes of the world are watching, waiting to see how SpaceX and the FAA navigate these uncharted waters. The outcome will determine not just the future of Starship, but how humanity approaches the final frontier for generations to come. As this critical situation unfolds between SpaceX and the FAA, Flight 8's future hangs in the balance. The coming weeks will determine whether SpaceX can maintain its rapid development approach while satisfying heightened safety concerns. This isn't just about one launch. It's about the future of commercial spaceflight itself. We'll be tracking every development in this story, bringing you exclusive updates as SpaceX works to get Starship back in the sky. The space industry is evolving faster than ever, and you won't want to miss what happens next. Join our growing community of space enthusiasts by hitting that subscribe button. Help us reach our goal of 120,000 subscribers. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the FAA's investigation and SpaceX's chances of launching Flight 8 in February. Hit the like button if you wanna see more in-depth coverage of Starship's journey to the stars. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you tomorrow's space news today. See you in the next episode. In a stunning announcement that marks a pivotal moment in spaceflight history, SpaceX is preparing to bid farewell to its legendary Falcon rockets and Dragon spacecraft. At the Barron Investment Conference in New York, Gwynne Shotwell dropped a bombshell that's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry. SpaceX plans to phase out its entire current fleet by 2030, making way for something far more ambitious. The future of space travel isn't just evolving, it's transforming entirely. While the Falcon 9 has already achieved an impressive milestone of 400 successful launches, its successor is poised to match this achievement in just a fraction of the time. The replacement, the revolutionary Starship system, a fully reusable spacecraft that promises to reshape our approach to space exploration. This isn't just another rocket upgrade. It's a complete paradigm shift in how we access space. SpaceX is betting big on Starship's capability to not only match but dramatically surpass the Falcon family's capabilities, all while slashing launch costs to unprecedented levels. With NASA already anticipating bi-weekly Starship launches starting in 2025, the timeline for this historic transition is closer than many might think. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and its visionary projects. Let's dive right in. The clock struck midnight at SpaceX's X's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Engineers huddled around their screens, watching telemetry data stream in from yet another successful Falcon 9 landing. This scene, once considered miraculous, has become routine, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. But in the background, something bigger was brewing, something that would change everything. When Gwyn Shotwell took the stage at the Barron Investment Conference in New York, the room fell silent. 
The woman who had helped guide SpaceX from a startup dreaming of Mars to a cornerstone of the global space industry was about to announce the end of an era. Starship obsolete's Falcon 9 and the Dragon capsule, she declared, her voice carrying both the weight of history and the promise of tomorrow. The legacy of innovation. Think back to 2008, when SpaceX's first three launches had ended in failure. Critics said private companies couldn't succeed in space. They said landing rockets was impossible. They said reusability was a pipe dream. Today, those same critics watch in silence as Falcon 9 rockets routinely touch down on landing pads and drone ships, having completed their missions with ballet-like precision. Sarah Martinez, a propulsion engineer, 